Welcome to the Holy Land and the biblical site of Bethshean. This site right here is a fascinating area, and let's see the Bible come to life as we see some of the events that took place here. Bethshean was a Roman city that existed during the time of Christ. It was called one of the Decapolis cities, which means ten. It was built by the Romans. The Greeks had influence, uh, and it was existed during the time of Christ. It was an elaborate Roman city. The history of Bethshean begins in the fifth millennium before Christ with the first settlers who arrived on the banks of the Nahal Harad. Over time, many rulers and inhabitants built and rebuilt settlements on the site, and the hill grew into a tell. Ancient Bethshean is mentioned in the book of Samuel as a city on whose walls the corpses of King Saul and his sons were displayed. The city was destroyed by the Assyrian army in 732 BC and left in ruins for centuries. In the Hellenistic period, or the Greek time, Bethshean extended beyond Nahal Harad. The city was named Nyssa Sekapopolis, Nyssa after the nurse of the god Diasonus. In the Roman period, it was the most important of the ten cities, the Decapolis, and the only place on the west bank of the Jordan River where a Decapolis city was located. Roman customs and fashion prevailed in the flourishing city, which continued to grow as Christianity spread among its population. In the 7th century after Christ, Bethshean was ruled by the Muslim Osmans. During their decline in 749, an earthquake shook the city and destroyed it to its very foundations. On its ruins, the modest Arab settlement of Essain arose. In the Middle Ages, in the Ottoman period, the town center moved to the site where modern Bethshean stands today. And let's look at some things about it that I think you'll find uh, very fascinating. As we mentioned, uh, it was a Roman city. Uh, it was a Decapolis city, so it was very luxurious, high living, uh, high society type uh, people lived here. Uh, the Decapolis is derived from, derived from the Greek word meaning deca, which means ten. Uh, biblically, uh, Saul's body, as we look at some of the events in, from Scripture, Saul's body was hung here on a hill on the gates or on the uh, walls overlooking Bethshean. I do want to clarify, however, that the Bethshean that existed when Paul was king of Israel is a different Bethshean than you're looking at right now. This was the Roman uh, modification uh, of the city. They took the city and made it into one of their decapolis, as we, as we mentioned. It was a very luxurious city. The city uh, prior to, hundreds of years prior to the Roman conquest during Saul's time, and that city then was a uh, town, was, was a lot uh, smaller. But it's mentioned uh, in the Bible a number of times uh, about Shein. Um, Jesus uh, lived not far from here, here, grew up not far from here in Nazareth, so it's not far from Nazareth to here. It's very likely that Christ uh, helped in part of the construction or maintenance with his father as a young man uh, growing up. Uh, Beth Shean is mentioned in a number, number of places in uh, Scripture. Uh, in Joshua 17, uh, Beth Shean is mentioned, 1711, in the conquest of the land and the entering in by under Joshua. And in Judges 127, uh, Scripture mentions uh, Beth Shean. Uh, the storyline though, that, that uh, I would like to focus on in this video uh, has to do with Saul because Saul's uh, body with his sons were hung on the city walls in Bethshean. Once again, the Bethshean prior to this Roman city that was here, but the same exact uh, location. So in Saul's life, uh, what we'd like to look at is the fact that Saul, his body was hung here as a result of his disobedience. Uh, Saul was a very disobedient uh, person. He was the first king of Israel. Uh, the, the people wanted a king, so God conceded, uh, gave them a king, and Saul was their first king. Uh, however, Saul was very, very uh, disobedient. Uh, he had incredible jealousy, and he tried to kill David for many years. With his large army, he pursued David all over the Negev, all over Israel, trying to kill him, of which God would not allow him to do, because God had a sovereign plan for uh, David. Uh, also, uh, Saul, when pressured uh, during a battle, uh, he offered sacrifices that only a priest was allowed uh, to offer. Uh, and he failed to obey God in completely destroying God's enemies. God had told him to go to a certain place and destroy uh, all the inhabitants there because of their wickedness. He failed to do so. So Saul's life was a very uh, disobedient um, life. 
And uh, as a result of his uh, disobedience, God pronounced uh, judgment upon him. Uh, in uh, Samuel, uh, 1 Samuel 15, uh, Samuel comes to him and says, Has the, Lo uh, has the Lord uh, as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to, and to listen than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft or divination, and presumption is as iniquity and idolatry. Because as you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has rejected you from being king. So uh, because of Saul's continued disobedience, God uh, reached a, a limit and he pronounced judgment upon Saul and said the kingdom is going to be taken away from you because of your disobedience. So as a result, uh, Saul uh, went to battle with um, the Philistines and fought against them and it was a very very sad day in the history of Israel. Uh, God allowed the Philistines to conquer the Israelites. Uh, Saul was wounded in battle. Uh, he died and then later the Philistines took his body along with his sons and then hung them on the city walls of Beth Shean. So very very sad story. A uh, very very tragic ending to a person who knew all the truth, should have known what to do, was clearly told what to do, but chose disobedience, uh, chose to make slight, uh, not take seriously God's commands and God's word. So as a result, he was judged, uh, God took his life, and he died, and his bodies were hung here on the gates or on the walls of the, of the Bethshean of the time during Saul's death. So uh, let's just uh, close up and wind up the video here with a couple really important things for us to consider. Uh, once again, Bethshean was one of the key cities of the Roman Empire. It was a Decapolis city. Uh, Saul's body was hung on a hill overlooking Bethshean. Uh, there is a marker you can see on the hill behind me, supposedly, uh, just commemorating it's not the place, but it's just a, a commemoration of what did happen here. And um, the key points of, of Saul's uh, disobedience that uh, we should look at is that he had incredible jealousy and tried to kill David for many years. When he felt pressure during the battle, he offered sacrifices that only a priest was allowed to do. He failed to obey God completely by destroying his enemies, and as a result, God took his life. So hopefully, we are not like Saul. What a great example for us not to do. Uh, Saul, uh, as we said, took, made slight of the Word of God, did not take it seriously. Uh, he disobeyed. He was really lax. He was full of jealousy. He would, had an ego. Uh, so God judged and pronounced judgment upon him. Hopefully, we are not like Saul. Hopefully, we are followers of Christ who are serious about following Him and obeying His words. So, thank you for watching this video, and God bless you.